relatively speaking, the pollution here in Beijing is not that bad. Now, it isn't healthy by any stretch of the imagination. The uh, air quality index at the U.S. Embassy right now in Beijing hovers around 180. The World Health Organization says it should be about 25. But for some context and to show you really how bad things can get here in Beijing, uh, an AQI of 180 is drastically less than other days that we've seen so far this year. In fact, it was in late November, early December that we saw a stretch of five days where the air quality index was well above 500 here. So for Beijingers, this isn't that bad. That said, the Beijing government did issue that red alert. That does mean that certain mandatory uh, measurements are put into place. That would include uh, taking about 5 million or so cars off the road by restricting certain license plates. That would mean heavy vehicles, including trash trucks and transportation trucks, are banned from area roadways, and certain factories and construction sites have also been closed down. And come Monday, schools have the option to close, as well as uh, just general businesses here in Beijing. They have the government's permission to close down for the day while this red alert remains in effect until Tuesday local time. But Matt, you know, when Beijing takes action, when it takes those cars off the road, you can see those skies uh, clear very quickly. I remember just a few months ago when there was a, a major national event there, uh, the call to action was, was set in place and the sky was a brilliant blue. That, that's absolutely right. The difference there would be that for some of these big events, uh, like the military parade that you mentioned, what the government would do is shut down factories and restrict car usage weeks in advance and so what that does is give the air time to clear out what a lot of the residents here in beijing their big complaint is that when red alerts like this one get issued taking cars off the road and shutting down factories really doesn't make that big of an impact in the short term now if you kept those cars off the road and kept those factories shut down it would make a difference in the long term but in the short term it's less these red alert measures and more when the wind picks it back up and the weather conditions become more favorable that the smog actually clears out.